Hello and welcome to my channel, the so-called travel expert. In this video, we continue our onward journey from Eiger Gletscher to Jungfraujoch. And here's a quick reminder of our journey so far. We first traveled from Interlaken to Lauterbrunnen and onwards from Lauterbrunnen to Kleiner Scheidegg. And then we took this train coming up to through Wengen, uh, Wengener Alp, and now we are at Kleiner Scheidegg. So what we're doing now is we'll take the train back up to Eiger Gletscher. And here we are at the Eiger Gletscher station. Depending on the weather, even if you arrive here for the first train, you might still be surprised to see huge queues. The green zone is for passengers with reservation and the yellow for everyone else. If you choose not to buy the 10 euros reservation, chances are that you will be waiting in this line for at least one hour. From Eiger Gletscher, as you can see, the train enters the tunnel. And all through going up to the Jungfrau Joch, it is inside the tunnel. So don't be surprised if you find this segment of the journey a bit boring. The train also stops for 5 minutes at Eismere where you can have a spectacular view of the Eismere glacier. So when the train arrives at Jungfrau Joch, uh, you can see that uh, the train station is located uh, inside the mountain under the glacier. Then there is a considerable walk before you get to any of the attractions. So you would have to walk here through this way, through the tunnels out here and till you come here to this point. You may then either choose to just take this lift up which takes you a further 200 meters high uh, to this uh, Sphinx observatory or you could just choose to walk further through these uh, tunnels till you come to uh, this ice palace. Throughout this walkway here you will get uh, bits and pieces of uh, information on the efforts that were required uh, to build this uh, railway into the mountain. Moving on from here, we now enter the ice palace, which is actually a lot of uh, ice sculptures carved uh, inside the glacier. This is actually quite uh, an interesting attraction for young children. It's also quite a pleasure to uh, walk through. As you can see, it's absolutely not crowded. Feels like a private tour. When we were coming in with the train and uh, looking at the crowds there, we were a bit worried that uh, it would just be overrun uh, with a lot of people but uh, luckily everyone else seems to have disappeared somewhere else uh, probably out on the observation deck, uh, deck and that leaves us with as good as a private tour of this uh, ice palace here's also something for fans of uh, ice age the squirrel or whatever he's called in that film uh, has got his acorn and he's stuck uh, in the ice. This is quite a surreal experience given that you're walking inside a glacier. From the ice palace, then we move on towards uh, this plateau where you actually come out into the ice uh, and snow and you get outstanding views. It is quite a remarkable feeling the first time you step out. Taking the first train at 9 in the morning was a smart choice as it was nowhere as busy as I'd expected. This is where you're looking down towards Kleiner Scheidegg, Lauterbrunnen and Interlaken. It's bright and sunny uh, here at the top and have a look at the view behind me. That's the Jungfrau Joch or the Jungfrau Peak, I should say. And behind me here you can see the glaciers. Uh, yeah, perhaps not so well from here. Um, 
and there is the the Sphinx Observatory at the top. So we will be heading back there as well in some time. And that is the Mionch uh, peak behind me. Coming back from the plateau, coming back inside, you can then head uh, towards uh, these restaurants and shopping areas uh, if you're hungry. As expected, uh, the food out here is, is a bit overpriced. So you are well advised to actually just carry some snacks uh, before you head out in the morning. So for heading out then to this uh, Sphinx Observatory, uh, there is a considerable walk uh, from the uh, restaurant area. You actually have to come down here, you can either take the lift and it's at least a 15 to 20 minute walk uh, to come to this point and where the elevator then takes you within 10 or 20 seconds uh, covers 200 meters and you are at the top of the Sphinx Observatory over here. Here we are at the top of the Sphinx Observatory and have a look at the views out there. And here is the Alec Glacier, which at 22 kilometers is one of the longest in Europe. If the weather is good uh, and not very windy or uh, if it's not snowing, you could also choose uh, to go out uh, and enjoy some snow uh, activities. So you can either do some sledding, tubing uh, or even uh, a zip line uh, out here. But the thing that amazed me the most uh, was this walk uh, heading out from uh, this Jungfrau Joch all the way till this Mjönschhutter. You are actually walking on a glacier. It is a well-maintained path, so it is quite safe. But uh, you will see yourself in the middle of the mountains covered with snow. And it is the most wonderful sight you will ever have come across. So we are walking now to the Mjönschhutter and we are actually walking on a glacier which has been well maintained so it should be, it is quite safe to walk. What really surprises me is that I thought there will be really few people walking out but given the weather, the weather is wonderful today, I am actually shocked at how, how many people have come out here to walk. I'll hit the camera. <laughs> you could also choose to entertain yourself by having a snowball fight. And we are heading back now from the Mjönch Hutter walk. It is extremely hot. I mean, you know, wearing the layers of clothes. It's probably around zero degrees or so right now, but absolutely no wind. And that's why the sun is really strong. And wearing the jacket and the layers, it's really getting hot. It's a good thing that we wore uh, some sun sunscreen, sun cream this morning, or uh, we would have really been badly sunburnt. <laughs> and the other thing is uh, never forget to wear your sunglasses when you're out here. You will ruin your eyes, trust me. It is so bright with the sun reflecting on the snow that uh, it's, it's, it's an experience, but you would rather not want to have that experience. And there we are on the train, heading back to Kleine Scheidegg. And this animation gives you a good overview of the train journey inside the tunnel from Jungfrau Joch to Eiger Gletscher. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Here are some highlights coming up in episode 3.